Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Tan, and welcome to Crypto Bible. I hope you're all doing very well. Uh, second upload of the day. I thought I'd do it because um, while I was looking for some news, uh, I actually stumbled across two massive names uh, in the world. Um, you know, names that we hear all the time, um, products that we use all the time. And uh, it's good to know that they are like dipping their toes into it or just getting heavily involved in the crypto space in general. Um, so I'm just going to be giving you guys some up to date news uh, in regards to what these guys are actually planning to do, what they've already done um, and why their names are actually being mentioned within the crypto space. Obviously, it's very bullish. Um, of course, you guys know how I am with news. Um, you know, news will only come when things are looking bullish. Um, things are looking great right now. So, you know, that's why they are here. Uh, but, you know, they are here nonetheless, and it is still very good news and we need to report it. So the first thing I'm going to be starting off with is, of course, Microsoft. Um, so Microsoft is actually awarded US patent for crypto token creation service. So we're going to have a quick look into this one. The patent describes a ledger independent system for helping users to create and manage tokens across different networks. So they're kind of getting themselves involved with a different type of token. Um, so they can have their own thing going. So Microsoft has been awarded a US patent for software. It says can help users develop blockchain applications by making it easier and more efficient to create crypto tokens for different distributed ledgers. According to the patent, creating and managing tokens is currently difficult and cumbersome due to the lack of standardization across different blockchains. Microsoft's patient describes ledger independent system for helping users to create tokens and for managing them across different networks. On receiving a request from a user, the system offers templates with various attributes and control functions. Those would depend on the type of token required, representing, for example, a digital or physical asset. Once the user has selected the desired template, the system creates the token on the designated networks. The system also provides a common interface for managing the tokens, so developers don't have to worry about token-specific code to interact with them. So that's pretty interesting, actually, because what you've got here is, you know, one groundbreaking bit of technology in crypto, and you've got one of the very first probably groundbreaking technology companies in Microsoft kind of coming together and they and they want to you know create their own um their own token and kind of make their own way with it and uh it's pretty cool because I, I feel like it kind of links back to the whole let's say for example PayPal PayPal is obviously you know they're trying to get themselves involved heavily within crypto they're trying to create their super app and um, you know with their products and services they could potentially do it we know their fees are quite high and everything, but hopefully things will get better in the future. Obviously still early days, early doors for them. Um, but then it just kind of comes back to the whole Microsoft thing. And you could imagine the type of technology that Microsoft um, could come up with uh, in the crypto space. So it'd be really, really cool and interesting to see what they're going to be coming up with in the future. And um, if they'll actually have their own token listed on something like Binance or KuCoin, Coinbase, for example, um, that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? So it's good to see that Microsoft are getting heavily involved um, within the crypto space as well. Uh, but then comes another big, big name as well. Um, you're probably watching uh, on one of their devices right now, this video. So uh, you may be, maybe not be, but uh, it's Apple. Of course, Apple is um, arguably the biggest in the world, I suppose. Uh, but they are definitely, they've definitely been um, kind of around the crypto space for a while. We've heard their names in and out. Um, you know, one of the rumors going around that day, they bought a ton of Bitcoin a few months ago. Obviously, it turned out not to be true. Um, but their name was uh, obviously there anyway regardless and right now we have got this so apple is looking for crypto experience in alternative payments job post so that kind of comes back to the whole remember the whole amazon thing amazon were also looking for um people with crypto experience uh and they were offering job posts as well so it, it seems like every company needs someone or a job post or some kind of experience within crypto so they can kind of start moving towards that space and slowly but surely you're starting to see a whole revolutionary change in the world when it's moving towards crypto and it was inevitable you know we knew this was going to happen anyway um but things are just kind of starting to to creep up a little bit now things are starting to move a little bit faster so it's really cool to see uh, but in regards to apple apple's payments unit is looking for a crypto savvy biz dev specialist to lead partnership efforts 
So Apple is looking to hire a business development manager with experience in the cryptocurrency industry to lead its alternative payments partnership program. In a Wednesday job posting, Apple said candidates should have five years or more working in with alternative payment providers such as digital wallets, BNPL, which stands for buy now, pay later, fast payments, cryptocurrency, and etc. The Cupertino tech giant said the manager would be Apple's chief negotiator for the alternative payment space. The Apple Wallets Payments and Commerce team is seeking an experienced business development manager to lead alternative payment partnerships, the company wrote. Apple has long maintained an ironclad grip over payments, especially in its app store, which has never accepted customers crypto and forces all catalog apps to Apple's commerce rails and play by Apple's rules. That tightly controlled ecosystem is the focus of a blockbuster court fight launched by Fortnite developer Epic Games. Epic alleges Apple's rules violate antitrust laws and stifle payments innovation. App uh, developers could accept Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies if not for Apple's restrictions, Epic claimed in the suit. Apple has made no public statements about its plan for the crypto space. The company did not immediately return to Coindesk tools. Even so, pockets of the crypto space seem to be preparing for Apple. Coinbase included Apple Pay graphics in a recent app. So, you know, they are dipping their toes in, but, you know, we still need a little bit more information regarding what they're going to be doing. But I have no doubt in my mind that, you know, soon crypto will just be absolutely everywhere. And, uh, you know, these companies are coming up more and more. And it's true, we did see that, you know, places like Coinbase are accepting Apple Pay as a form of payment now. Um, so, you know, it's very quick, very easy to buy and sell cryptocurrency. Obviously, I'm not saying go do it on Coinbase. You guys know my thoughts on Coinbase and their fees and everything else is very expensive, but it's ease. Coinbase is all to do with ease. And it would not surprise me if Apple Pay was introduced to other apps such as, uh, such as Binance. Second, everything sorted out with Binance anyway. But, uh, you know, two big, big um, giants there getting themselves involved in cryptocurrency. And hopefully we'll be seeing uh, a lot more moving forward. Uh, obviously, we are keep seeing loads of these other companies and big, um, uh, big uh, retail and finance investors basically investing huge amounts of money into Bitcoin because they obviously believe it for the future. So we'll have to wait and see how all of that stuff develops, uh, develops as well. But it's looking good, guys, looking good. Um, massive names there. Hopefully we'll see more in the future. It's all bullish news. You know, it's not going to be bearish news, is it? So it's all looking good. But yeah, I'll let you guys know if I uh, find out about any other giant companies getting themselves involved. If you've enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, make sure you are hitting that bell icon so you do not miss any other uploads. And I'll see you guys very soon, people.